Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kristen Hess. Today we're gonna to talk about a math concept and we're gonna use three column notes to help you organize yourself. Today we're gonna to talk about simple interest. And we wanna learn how to calculate it. But before we do that, we need to understand what interest is. Think about interest as when you borrow money or you let someone borrow money from you and in the end you get more than you started with or you pay more than you started with. So for example, if you buy a car, you're gonna borrow a certain amount of money. And then in the end, you're gonna pay back that amount of money plus extra, that extra is the interest. Or if you put money in the bank and let it grow for a little bit, after a certain amount of time, you'll take out the original amount you had, plus you'll have some extra, and that extra is the interest. Simple interest is the easiest way of calculating interest. It's not used in all real life situations, but it is used in some. The key idea here is that the in interest is always based on the initial value. So if you borrow $300, the interest, the extra is always gonna be based on that 300. It's not gonna change based on the interest that you've earned. And there's two formulas that we're going to be using. So the first one is how to calculate the interest or the money that you earn or pay so our I is that interest that you've earned. The P is the present value. That's how much you have today. That's how much you put in the bank today, or that's how much that you borrowed from the bank to buy a car today. R is our interest rate as a decimal, and T is time in years. If your time is not in years, you need to convert it to years. A is the future value. That's how much you're gonna get at the end. If you put $300 in the bank today and get 400 tomorrow, that 400 is the future value. The interest I would be the difference between the present value and the future value. And then again, P is still the present value, R is still the interest rate as a decimal, and T is still the time in years. So we're gonna do an example together. We're gonna to consider putting $300 in a CD for 90 days at four and one eighths percent interest. And we're gonna find two things. We wanna know how much we earned and then how much are we gonna get back? So I encourage you to start by writing down the problem and everything that we know. And so we've got the formulas, we're gonna write those down as well. Okay, so here's our problem. Let's start by identifying the information that we're given. So A, our future value, that's what we're looking for. In the second part of the question. The present value we were given in the question, that's our 300. Our interest rate is four and one eighths percent, but we need to convert it to a decimal. So to do that, we're going to open up our graphing calculator that's free, desmos.com. And you're gonna start by writing four plus one eighth. Notice how at the bottom, you can either put it in the keyboard or you can just type it in. To get the fraction, you just use the division bar or the sideways slash. And so now we have four plus one eighth is 4.125. And now we need to convert that to a decimal. And we do that by dividing it by 100. So now we're going to take that to our board and write it down. Our time in years, we're given that time is 90 days, but we need to change that to years. So we're going to take 90 and divide it by 365. And I'm gonna keep it as a fraction. So how much interest will you earn? So what we're gonna to do to find that out is use our I equals P R T formula and replace P with 300. Our rate with 0 0.04125 and our time with 90 over 365. And now we're gonna plug this into decimals. So we'll put 300 in here. And 
times 0, 4, 1, 2, 5. And then 90 slash 365. And so that tells us the amount of interest that we're going to earn over that period of time. Because we are working with money, I'm going to round it to two decimal places. And so that tells us that I is going to be $3.05. And that's the final answer for the first part. The second part says, how much money will you have in 90 days? So we're going to have A equals P times 1 plus RT. So we know that three is, 300 is P. We found our R. And we know that T is 90 over 360. 365. So we're going to plug that into our calculator now. So we'll take 300 times 1 plus 0 0.4125 times 90 divided by 365. And that gives us 303 and 5 cents. Now notice that we started with $300. We ended with $303.05 and our interest was $3.05. If we add our starting value to our interest, we also get that future value. And that's why we have that plus one in the formula. So in summary, we talked about the formulas for simple interest, what each of the variables meant. And we walked through an example of how to solve it, how to change your interest into a decimal, how to change time into years, and how to find the future value. Now I'm going to give you an extension problem, and I want you to pause the recording and try it on your own. So this problem, you're going to borrow $5,000 for a school and it's a simple interest loan, it's 11.5%. And, and after graduation, you get a gift in eight months from when you took it out and pay the whole thing off. So how much interest did you pay? And how much did you pay in total? So go ahead, pause the recording, write this down and try it on your own. Okay, so, the interest you should have gotten should have been $383.33, and the total payment to pay off that loan would have been $5,383.33. Thank you for watching.